This is Max Fosh. He's a prominent YouTuber who's broken the internet with his silly pranks like running for mayor of London or tricking tourists flying into Gatwick that they'd actually landed at Luton Airport. And I just gave him two paintings at his recent comedy show. We don't know each other, so why did I give him these paintings? Well, apart from a narcissistic desire of wanting my paintings in the hands of all big creators, Max and I are not exactly strangers. Two weeks ago, I spoke to Max about being his intern, and to spice up my application, I made him a painting. Unfortunately, I only have his email, and I thought it'd be a little creepy to ask him for his home address, but I'd love to give it to him in person. So I hatched a plan. What if I make an even larger, even doper painting that celebrates everything Max Fosh? and I find a more appropriate location to meet him at. This is the story of how I was able to give my paintings to one of the biggest creators on YouTube. And honestly, I have no idea how the it happened. Let's start. The story begins with Colin and Samir. They're two YouTubers who tell stories about big creators and YouTube slash social media news. I'm subscribed to their newsletter, The Published Press, which covers the creator economy. And one Tuesday, I got notified that they released their latest article, so I checked it out. A section called Creator Moves caught my eye. Apparently, Max Fosh was looking for a paid intern based in London. And as it happens, I'm looking for a job in London, but there was one problem. Max advertised the job on LinkedIn on a Thursday with a one day deadline for Friday. And I saw the post on a Tuesday, exactly five days too late. But my mind wouldn't accept that he purposely made a one day deadline. I think that's wild. So I thought, okay, why not send him my application? Worst case, he doesn't respond. So I sent him a 60 second video of myself making a Max Fosh themed painting with a voiceover speaking about who I am and what I can offer. And to my surprise, he responded like 15 minutes later. So this was his response. Hey Talewa, firstly, thank you so much for your fantastic application. Nice. Unfortunately, Colin and Samir didn't show that the deadline was a couple of days ago, so I already filled the position. Damn. I really enjoyed your creative pitch, so definitely keep your email on file if anything comes up in the future. Nice. In the meantime, Paddy Galloway has started a new website called ytjobs.co in which you can find postings from other YouTubers. Best of luck, Max. Okay, I still can't believe you like my application. Honestly, I'm still so gassed, but unfortunately, you'd already filled the position. But this can't be where it ends. I spent all this time on this piece. I need him to have it. I did respond and ask if I could give it to him, but he goes to me, you know, totally understandable, Max. I wouldn't want a random stranger pulling up and giving me a piece either. I mean, I kind of still did that, but it's different. This is for content, you know, for videos. <laughs> Anyways, there's got to be another way, but for now, I'm officially stuck. Okay, it's been a few days, but there's been an interesting development. In three weeks, Max will be hosting a comedy show called Social Butterfly. Apparently, as a celebration for reaching 1 million subscribers, Max will be performing the biggest gig of his life at the London Palladium. If you don't know, that's a big deal. I mean, some huge names have performed there. We're talking The Beatles, The Rolling Stones, Louis Armstrong. I think you get the point. So I've come up with an idea. Why don't I give him the painting at the Social Butterfly show, who will already be there performing so he doesn't have to travel anywhere, and a literally take me like two seconds to give him the painting. He literally has nothing to lose. All right, I've sent Max an email with my idea, literally asking for a moment of his time. Man, I'll arrive nine hours early. I'll hold his glasses on the plate, fan him all night, whatever I need to do to get this to happen. And like magic, 14 minutes later, I got a response. So he said, hi, Talewa. I'll be heading to the stage door after the show to say hello to the people. So see you there. Thanks, Max. Yo, I can't believe it. Operation Gifting Fosh is a go. Let's move. There is no fumbling this opportunity. This piece has got to be a showstopper. I'm gonna make a banger. So for this one, I'm going big. This paper is damn near A2 size. I want him and everyone around him seeing this piece. My idea is to make it kind of like a social butterfly poster, like a timestamp that Max can hopefully look back on and reflect fondly about his big night. In the poster promoting the event, Max is dressed like a butterfly. So my character Gray is emulating that. Max also wears a backwards hat in a lot of his videos. And of course she can't forget his glasses. I also made Grey wear a necklace with the gold fosh on it. If you don't know, it's crazy, but Max commissioned a $100,000 diamond goldfish, or gold fosh, and he's hidden it for anybody to find. You just have to break his confusing ass riddle in his YouTube video. It still hasn't been found, but hey, to whoever does find it, I promise I'll make you a painting to go with it. Just tag me. You tell me what could be better than jewelry and art. Just don't forget. So just finished the piece. It's looking good. I'm a little nervous, I won't lie. I'm gonna have to get like a storage box or something so I can actually hold them in, but 
I guess all to the art store. Noise, we're on the way. Uh, I thought it could be pretty cool to like customize the, I don't know, gift bag or whatever I end up giving him. I got some spray paints, so maybe I can mess around with those. It could be pretty cool. I remember. <laughs> I've gotten a couple bites. All right, bet. Um, I think I know what I'm gonna get. There's like a project bag that I can get and then paint on, which I'll show you in a sec. And then there's also like a smaller bag that I can get to protect the piece. It's pretty good. So I'm thinking get this, we put the pieces in here, we spray paint this, press Perfect. Up the pieces, they're in my hand, I'm gonna go back home, safe to deliver them, without getting hit by the <laughs> car, you know. London. Okay, so we built a little contraption to not mess up the floor. <laughs> I think we're cool. Got my face. Let's rock. Voila, all done. Now here's a better look at the paintings. Also tell me what you think in the comments. Would you want your own Grayswald piece? All right, everyone, it's game time. Got the piece in the hands, you know? Walk into the tube, let's get it. We made it, let me show you guys in a sec. Trying to figure out how, uh, how the line situation works. Man, it was scary with the piece. Getting it like all touched up by people and like, ah, uh, it's annoying. Like, just I don't want to mess it up, you know? But I think we're right here, so I'm gonna try going inside. Let's go. Sorry. Just finished the show. Stage door is right here. Got the piece. So let's go. I'm excited. Nervous as hell. Hey guys, thank you so much for coming. Um, we'll try and make this quick. So there's a few of you here. Gonna say hello. No, some of you like quite a long way away. But we'll start over here. And I mean, nice to meet you. Thank you so really much, nice I really appreciate it. Nice to meet nice you. Good show, you great show. Yeah, I mean, I just kind of like... like thanks, man. Um, yeah, it was a really, really fun night. So thank you very much for coming. I appreciate it. Oh, mate! Please open it here. Okay. It kind of chips. I'm so annoying, but there's the little Mac That's amazing. Two little pieces. Wow. Incredible. That's it. Oh, yeah, you messaged me about this. Yeah. Mate, that's absolutely stuck. So cool. Oh, this one's getting the whole world with the <laughs> Made a little poster. Oh, well, you're wondering with the, with the, 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 the goldfish at the of end. Of course, as well. you know. Obviously, you have to keep your little glasses, you know. Thanks so much. And then story. this was the video actually itself. Yeah. But, dude, congratulations. Thank you so much. Amazing job, you know. Thanks, man. Honestly, you know. Appreciate it. Classic. Amazing show, dude. Have a great evening. Thank you so much for no, coming. Thank you. I appreciate no, it. Appreciate it. Appreciate the satellite well, people, but have a great evening. Me too. I never know how to do this. Gang, gang. <laughs> so we just gave him the painting. He liked it. It was awesome. Like, I was actually the first person he looked at. It couldn't have gone better. Uh, Max, the show was, aw I mean, great. Like, really funny. All the acts were really good. And, I mean, I loved it. I'm so happy you liked the painting. I just can't wait to see what you do in the future. And... Yeah, man, just more power to you. So there you have it. Max Fosch officially has two Grey's World pieces in his collection. But there's one last thing. Max, as a new Grey's World collector, I've got to ask you. Please be my Draco Malfoy. See, as a Grey's World collector, we could have each other on Instagram. Go for a beer. Like and share each other's YouTube videos. Whatever. Either way, still got my paintings. And to everyone, keep trying. Just put your ideas into action. You never know what can happen. I didn't think this was gonna happen and it happened. So get out there. Hope you enjoyed the journey. Peace.